Yes, yes. Do you remember when you were a kid and you got the speech from your parents or a teacher telling you about taking responsibility and owning up to your mistakes? Yeah, foreign concept, I know. But sometimes, when you mess up, you have to take responsibility for your mess, which is something that Disney and Leslie Headland have been unable or refuse to do. But exactly what are they trying to do to Nerd Roddick, Star Wars Theory, and The Critical Drinker? And will they succeed? Join me, dear viewer, as I dive back into the raging dumpster fire that is Disney's Star Wars. Before we get into this, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out with continuing to grow, and it's totally free. Much has already been said about the Acolyte, Leslie Headland's brainchild. The first three episodes filled YouTubers like me full of glee. Because you see, dear viewer, there's only a handful of fans left, and YouTube review channels still left watching the Acolyte. That's right, it's YouTubers like Critical Drinker, Nerd Rotic, and myself that are left rage watching this so we can get views on our channels. That's it. As I've explained in this prior video, the mainstream media was blaming fans for ruining Star Wars, not the people at Lucasfilm pushing queer feminist agendas. And now they're turning their sights on who they believe to be behind their own failure. It couldn't possibly be that they retconned the core basis of the lore and added their own toxic feminist agenda into the show, could it? As we saw with Dune, Denis Villeneuve proved that you can have a mature plotline with excellent character development, character arcs that make sense, and properly written dialogue in modern sci-fi. But I guess Leslie Headland failed creative writing 101 at Oberlin. I mean, she completely changed what the Force even is. Oh great, now it's a thread? Yeah, okay, Leslie. I really don't think she knows anything about Star Wars. Has she even watched any of the other Disney Plus Star Wars shows? I mean, never mind the original trilogy. At least those were slightly better written. But hey, at least we're graced with the presence of Qui-Gon Trinity once again because old Carrie Ann Moss needed a paycheck since those Matrix residuals might not be covering the cost of her Botox. And hey, we got to see the only good actor on the entire show, Jedi Squid Game, and even Jedi Chewie. But I guess that's ruined with the fourth episode. So I guess it's not all that bad. Wait, what the hell am I talking about? The show is completely fucked six ways from Sunday. But instead of doing their jobs properly, they go to play the blame game. And now they're trying to get YouTubers banned for talking shit about the Acolyte. Just today, a popular YouTube channel, Star Wars Theory, posted on Twitter that he's being censored. Apparently, YouTube has started harassing Star Wars Theory for his views on the Acolyte by demonetizing his videos. Clearly, this is at the behest of someone over at Disney and they're looking to go after Nerd Roddick and Critical Drinker next. But why? Why are they doing this? Well, I've got my own theory for you, dear viewer, and it's something that's becoming painfully obvious with the Acolyte. It's very apparent that Leslie Headland has the goods on Harvey Weinstein. She was his assistant. She was in the inner core of his operation, and she knows where all the bodies are buried, including, of all companies, Disney's connection to Miramax. I mean, what better way to keep the fresh bodies coming for old Harvey than to funnel them in from Disney? So what does Disney do? Well, they give Leslie Headland $180 million to shut her mouth. But it's a specific contingency, you see. She has to shut her mouth about Harvey, not about her toxic feminist agenda. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we get shows like The Acolyte. The point is that all these Bryn Mawr and Mount Holyoke rejects seem to have a very myopic view of the world. They're taught Marxist theory whose sole focus on class struggle and economic power relations significantly influence discussions about systemic inequality and exploitation. That's why we're now seeing the Jedi as this post-colonial evil entity looking to exploit the galaxy for their own nefarious purposes. Well, if the Jedi are so evil, what does that make the Sith? There's no good or evil anymore, I guess. I don't know Nerd Roddick or Critical Drinker personally, but I don't think that they will bend the knee so easily. 
they've got a lot of support with millions of subscribers. If they do in fact get cancelled, can they make a go of it on independent media just like Tucker Carlson did after he got unceremoniously fired from Fox? Well, that's just the thing. There's various degrees of how well protected you are from the wokesters. Although one thing's for sure, we are in a full-blown war for the very soul of not only Star Wars, but of pop culture itself. Only time will tell how this whole thing will shake out. But what do you guys think about all this? Do you follow the critical drinker nerdrotic? And if so, do you think that they will bend the knee to Disney out of fear of being cancelled? Please do let me know down below in the comments, and as always, hit that like button, ring that notification bell, and smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one!